In this video, we're going to show you how to get the most out of Contact Form 7 and the huge selection of available extensions. If you're unfamiliar with this plugin, it may appear complicated, but when you break it down, you'll find it's quite simple. For example, the default Contact Form template has four fields, name, email, subject, and message. But let's say that you need to add somebody's phone number. If you press the tell button, you can insert that field into the form. The options are pretty straightforward, but a couple may need clarification. The first option is whether or not you want this to be a required field. Name is a field only visible for you and is used in the short code to choose which telephone entry field you want to display. Default value is the value that you want to be in the field by default. ID attribute is where you assign an ID if you want to style this particular field with CSS. Class attribute is the CSS class for all of your telephone fields. Contact Form 7 fills in all of the values as you go, so you can simply copy the code or just hit insert tag to finish up. Now let's quickly go over the other available tabs. The mail tab is pretty straightforward. This is where you take all of the shortcode labels from the previous form and use them to format the info that's sent into a readable email. The messages tab is something many people don't mess with. It's where CF7 keeps all the front facing messages that your users will see. Like, thank you, your email has been sent, or we're sorry you haven't filled in all of the required fields. Those sort of messages. And it gets even better. Now that you're familiar with what you can do with the plugin itself, let's dig into some of the best Contact Form 7 extensions available. Number one, conditional fields for Contact Form 7. This plugin adds one of the features that Contact Form 7 doesn't have, which is conditional logic. Instead of showing the same form to everyone, regardless of device, you can give them a particular form suited better to their platform. If you need to have feedback forms appear after certain criteria is met, you can do that with this free plugin. Number two, PayPal and Stripe add-on. Maybe you don't need a full e-commerce solution. Perhaps running WooCommerce or something else is just too much for the one or two things you sell. This free plugin may be your best bet. You can keep a form made for each particular item you sell and your users will be redirected to either PayPal or Square upon submitting the form. You won't be hosting or processing their payment information, just getting the benefit of selling your stuff with a few clicks. Number three, really simple CAPTCHA. CAPTCHA is an effective first defense against spam and security threats. This free plugin is written by the same developer as Contact Form 7, so you know it'll work hand in hand. Number four, Contact Form 7 skins. Customizing is easy with Contact Form 7. You can add CSS IDs to each form and style them as shown in one of our previous videos. But why would you do that when there's a free plugin? This plugin uses a drag and drop editor and offers a number of premium bundles and add-ons so that you can get more templates, skins, logic, and the ability to break forms into multiple pages. Number five, CF7 Autoresponder. If you keep an email list, this $18 extension might be something to take a look at. It completely transforms the Contact Form 7 plugin into a lead generating and list building software. Number six, Contact Form 7 Storage. This $19 plugin makes it so that all of your form submissions are saved to your WordPress database. Many times, emails get lost, or maybe the email server messes up and you miss a major lead. This plugin fixes that by giving you a server-side inbox of every submission. And finally, number seven, CF7 Drop Uploader. This $17 plugin allows users to drag and drop files onto the form. Rather than having to search and search for a screenshot or similar, people can attach files with ease. Just drag and drop. And there you go. That's how to get the most out of Contact Form 7. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.